are going to make an idea pin to jumpstart your Pinterest. If you are new to Pinterest or you have a Pinterest and you haven't been doing much, make an idea pin. Make an idea pin. We're going to do that next. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, my name is Laurieann and if you are new or returning, welcome here to Soul Primary. We talk teacher side hustles and this is Create Miss Day 5. Five golden rings. You know, I, I don't think I even heard that. I think I heard that song once <laughs> during my time at school with all the music playing. Anyways, I have a confession. I let my Pinterest account slide for the, like the last month and a half. Since I w did this boot camp at the end of October, I did not make pins. And my numbers plummeted. <laughs> They're not at rock bottom, but... Um, anyways, and he, sure enough, what I, one of the things I did was uh, a couple weeks ago, just hit, made an idea pin, ah, jump started it just a little. So we're going to make another one right now. I'm going to turn the camera around, make an idea pin with a product that I uploaded. Uh, I uploaded this before, oh, I can't remember. I uploaded this a couple days, a uh, Monday, I uploaded this on Monday. So I'm gonna, we're going to make an idea pin and I would highly recommend you do the same and do it weekly. All right, let's turn the camera around. Uh, as you know, I make my cover and my thumbnails in Canva and I put them all on one cup page or whatever it is. Then what I do is I resize and I wanna make it a Pinterest pin size. So 1000 by 1500. So this is gonna give a copy this speeds up the process of making uh, an idea pin or any pin for sure. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to re quickly resize this. So I've got all my stuff here. Again, I'm going to resize it. I'm going to add a couple little elements. So let me just speed up the camera a little bit. So here I am, I'm just going um, to get some animated arrows. So I just go to air elements, arrow, and then I'm going to go into the filter and go for animated. Just to add something to it. I usually do five pages when I'm doing so I do four with the cover, thumbnails, and then I will do a screenshot of my store. That's the idea pin. Now I'm going to add a couple more things just to again give it some visual. So you can animate the whole page and they've got under animations different things you can do. So now I've got a animated pin. So I'm going to download it and I'm going to leave it as an mp4 and I'm going to do all pages Now let's go over to Pinterest. We're going to go over here to create, uh, create idea pin. And one of the things that I do just to, again, save time is I'm going to need a link to the product. And I'm also going to need uh, the information that I've done on previous idea pins. Again, just to save time. So I'm going to open up an additional uh, Pinterest page. So I'm going to go to my other, go to another pin. Just again, just to save some time for myself, I'll copy a previous one. And like I said, then I'll, and I need the link to the product. So let's get this idea pin started. So we're going to create new. And I'm going to drag this. So what I was doing in the past is I was uploading 
page, 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 page. And then I just realized, why, why don't I just send this all as one video? And it works. It's crazy. Now, it looks blank, but it actually isn't. If you look over here, it's, it's showing. One of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to just adjust it a little bit. So that's, and it's okay to, this, this uh, I leave some of the space blank. It helps, especially for those who look at pins on their phones, just to leave a little space because some people don't have the same size phones. Okay, and then I go to next. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add notes. And this is where I'm going to copy the previous one. I quickly changed uh, to another pin because the other one was a math pin. So I did a more of a language arts pin here. And I'm going to just copy the information here. Just to make it easier for myself. And I also, if you, I don't know if you can see it, but I've, I copied uh, the snippet from TPT. So let me just copy that for the moment. Now I'm going to open up TPT. So here is the description. And again, I'm going to copy and paste some of this as well. So what I'm trying to do is give people as much um, information about the product as possible. Okay, now I just need the link to the product. Now, one of the things that I should be doing right now is doing the UTM code because it, it's important that you're tracking if all these, the, all this effort that you're making for idea pins is actually paying off. So what I want to do is I want to go to dashboard, it's traffic, sorry, go to traffic, UTM builder, I just realized I did not uh, hit record, bah, a <laughs> girl. But I took the link from the product and I just copied the link here. Source, I wrote Pinterest. Campaign, I just wrote idea pin and then clicked generate. And it gave me this here. But I'm looking at this and it. if I look at the wording, it shows that it is a link with, traf uh, with a tracking. So I copied it and then I moved over to bit.ly, B-I-T-L-Y dot com, and I put it in here, clicked, and this normally says shorten, and then this was my link that it generated. And so I copied that and then put it in the pin, the, in, the idea pin right here. And it's done. They are... The idea pins are rather easy, but yeah, they're a little bit time consuming. I usually need, once I got the photos and everything, and I do all of this in Canva, as you saw, if I have it all ready, I, it, still, it still takes me 15, 20 minutes to upload it and add notes and things like that, right? As you saw, I just kind of gave you the fast version. Seriously, put a UTM code in, as I mentioned, and then when people click on it, you can see that it's coming from Pinterest in your traffic. Give it a try. You know, the, the, the one nice thing is those pins just seem to regurgitate and show back up and you still get sales. So it's a one and done type thing. So anyways, yeah, make a couple over the holidays and see what happens. In the meantime, wherever you are in the world, I hope you and your family are staying safe, being healthy. If you, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and we'll catch you in that Create Miss video, or you can watch a bunch of videos right there. See ya. Mm -hmm.